Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about shea butter. Go get yourself some raw shea butter. I'm amazed by its benefits. Is shea butter the new Vaseline? Should we ditch Vaseline for shea butter? People are saying that shea butter is a much better occlusive oil for the hair. I mean, so many different theories about shea butter. So we're gonna break down shea butter today and we're gonna talk about, is it really better? Is it a better ingredient for our skin and hair? So sit tight and let's talk about shea butter. So before we start, if you're new here, this is your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video if you like it, because that's how YouTube gets to push the video out to more people to see amazing videos like this. Okay, shea butter. So shea butter is gotten from the African shea tree. It has long chain fatty acids, which mostly consists of linoleic acid, palmitic acid, and stearic acid. A huge part of it is also compromised of phytosterols, which are basically antioxidants. There are lipid emollients, and if you watch my video up here, I talked about what emollients are in more detail, but emollients are basically kind of like a step down from occlusives. Occlusives are things like petrolata, mineral oil. Emollients, like shea butter in this case, help to basically form like a cushion or a slim barrier, not as much as occlusives do, but very slim barrier on the surface of the skin or hair to prevent moisture loss. So I guess spoiler alert before we even get deeper into the video, it's not the same as Vaseline because Vaseline is an occlusive, shea butter is an emollient. Shea butter is an amazing moisturizer especially if you have really dry skin or you have compromised skin and battling with things like dermatitis, eczema, rosacea. Shea butter is a really great ingredient to kind of help soothe those areas, minimize irritation and discomfort. So as I said, it does have some occlusive properties where it's able to stop some form of water loss or moisture loss from your hair or your skin, but it doesn't give you that full coating that you get from like an occlusive like petrolatum or mineral oil. It's also great when using conditioners to really help kind of seal in the moisture from all of the cationic polymers and cationic surfactants that have added a lot of moisture into your hair. It helps to form some type of seal to prevent your hair from drying out, especially if you have high porosity or low porosity hair. Shea butter is such an amazing ingredient to have in your hair care product. So yes, shea butter can definitely be used as a hydrator, but definitely make sure that you're not using it with the intention of having lasting hydration. The drawback to shea butter is yes, it will help to kind of seal in moisture for a short amount of time, but if you're looking for more long-term water loss prevention, shea butter is not your guy. I'm sorry to break the bad news, but shea butter is not your guy for long-term hydration. Occlusives like petrolatum and mineral oil and some dimethicones will always be the most shielding ingredient series out there as far as moisture loss is concerned. So I hope this video helps you guys understand how shea butter works, that indeed is not an occlusive. It does have occlusive properties, but it's not an occlusive. It's an emollient that will give you short-term hydration but great if you feel like occlusives like Vaseline or mineral oil weighs your hair down. It's such a great alternative if you don't want your hair weighed down by heavy occlusives like petrolatum. I hope you liked the video. If you did make sure to hit the thumbs up button for me, subscribe and let me know what you think about shea butter. Is it an ingredient that you will invest in, have invested in? What's your experience with shea butter? Share in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!